Jerry Rice. Some call him the greatest wide receiver of all time. Hall of Famer, three rings, a Super Bowl MVP, 13 Pro Bowls, and a 10-time All-Pro with over 22,000 yards and 197 touchdowns. Then you got Randy Moss, nicknamed The Freak, 6'4", can jump out of the stadium and has speed that kills. He's one of the best deep threats to hit the field. Hall of Famer, 6 Pro Bowls, 4-time All-Pro and with over 15,000 yards and 156 touchdowns. Let's put them in the same draft class today and see who would come out as the greatest wide receiver of all time. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Isaiah, aka the Career Maestro Man, and welcome to another Career Versus. Y'all seen the title, y'all seen the thumbnail, y'all heard the intro. We got Jerry Rice and we got Randy Moss. This is the second Career Versus I've done. I did Peyton and Eli Manning about two weeks ago, so you can check that one out if you haven't already, man. But today, it's Jerry, it's Randy. Let's go ahead and go to the prospect scouting so y'all can look at the scouting report and we're gonna look at the mock draft and then we go ahead into the draft and then we're gonna go from there. All right, let's go. First up, let's take a look at Jerry Rice and his player card. He's 6'2", 200, he's 23 years old because I believe he was 23 when he got drafted. His projected round one, I think he's around the 16th pick where he went IRL. Um, top fits at Buffalo, Baltimore, Carolina. And to get as accurate as possible, I took the traits and the attributes from a muck card and then I took the attributes down a little bit. So these player notes off the traits and stuff, these are not my opinion. This is what EA actually has. So yeah, take it with that as you will um, on your judgment on these player profiles. Here's a take a look at his physicals. Um, you see elite speed, elite agility, great speed. Well, great elite acceleration, elite agility, great speed. I can't read, man. I can't read. And look at that, best in the three cone, you know, good fat. He's pretty well rounded everywhere, man. And then here's a look at his skills. Taking a look at Randy Moss, here's his player notes. He has the same top fits in Buffalo, Baltimore, Carolina. Um, deep threat wide receiver, 6'4, 210. He was 21 when he got drafted out of Marshall. Um, I know Jay Rice went to, I think it's Mississippi Valley State. They are not in the game, so I got something close to it. I think it says Mississippi College. Um, Here's a look at Randy Moss's combine and pro day. Fastest receiver. Look at the ver vertical, man. Look at the vert. Look at the vert. Come on, man. I did my thing. I did my thing on the creation, man. And also, I tried to get the uniforms to match the best possibly could. So if we have to jump to a game, we can easily recognize them. But hey, I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not a perfectionist. Okay. So you, you can do with that what you will in the comment section. All right. So let's go look at the mock draft time for the mock draft this is mock draft number five the last one before the actual nfl draft and let's see where they end up we have jerry rice projected at number eight to the new england patriots he was projected around somewhere between 14 and 17 because he went number 16 irl so i wanted to get the projections as close as possible randy was number 21 i believe irl so he should be a little bit lower maybe he jumped up just like jerry but Jerry Rice to the Patriots is kind of like when Randy went to the Patriots to play with Tom Brady. And, well, I'm not calling Drake May Tom Brady, but I'm saying that, that can be a crazy dynamic duo. Let's see where Randy ended up at. And he's going to end up. OK, he's ended up number 13 to the Las Vegas Raiders. The Vegas Raiders, they don't have a quarterback just yet. But I mean, you get a target like that you can't really go wrong it's like it's like Devonte adams right now you got a good target out there can't go wrong hit well, him and Devonte adams would be insane so let's see if that actually happens man all right it's time for the nfl draft before we go into the draft go ahead and hit that like button subscribe to the channel man and let me know who you want to see next in the career versus let's go to the draft all right, I hope you got your tucks on. For any females watching, hope you got your dress on. We time for the NFL draft, man. You already know how we do it. We go until both people are drafted, and then we just skim to the rest. Then I will show you the attributes on the team that they got drafted in the draft recap. With the first pick, the Broncos. They're going to go with, I'm not assuming they're going with either one of them. They're going DT with Walter Nolan. Let's see. Let's skip a little bit. I'm not going to commentate over every single pick. Travis Hunter going to Arizona he going number two overall I feel like that's kind of high all right first receivers off the board first receivers off the board to Tennessee 
now is fair game for any team that wants a wide receiver to take Randy or Jerry. Let's see where the first one comes up. And it just hasn't happened yet. Top five. They didn't go top five. Which we expected. We expected. We were expecting to get Jerry Rice right here at pick number eight. And are they going to do it? The Patriots. Are they going to do it? And they do do it. They go with Jerry Rice on the Patriots. And Peyton Man actually went to the Patriots in the other one. So, yeah. If you haven't watched that one, sorry, I spoiled it. That, that, that don't really spoil anything else, but, you know, let's keep going. Let me, let, let's keep going. Let's just keep going. Jerry Rice is on the Patriots, and we should have Randy Moss coming up in a few. You know, things could change. Things things could stay the same. Hey, I can't even speak. I can't read. Can't 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 speak today. Let's see what's going on. Um, and here we go. Will we get Randy Moss right here? And we do. So just like the mock draft has projected, that's where they go with. We got a Raider and a Patriot. Let's go. Round one, pick eight. We saw Jerry Rice go to the New England Patriots. He's rocking number 87. I might try to change that. Hold on, give me a little minute. Hold on, let me see if we got something better. All right, we back. Number 83, it looks a little bit better. I wish we could have had the 80, but 83 will do just fine. Uh, with hidden development, we know he's an X Factor. Here's a look at his ratings. Um, I try to do my best with what I can with what they gave me and try to get him down to the rating that I did get him to. 41 ranked wide receiver so he's almost closing in on the top 32 wide receiver which would make him a starting wide receiver but right now they're saying he's just one of the best number twos in the game and here's a look at his motivation and tags if you so desire to see that randy moss going to the raiders wait didn't randy actually play for the raiders or was that jerry or they both might have played for the raiders and i just can't remember but yes this is randy most ran his number 84 him development like i said he is an x factor here's a take a look at his ratings he's the number 52 and wide receiver so he got a little bit more ground to cover but with that x factor and these ratings he should make up ground quick enough um he just doesn't really have a quarterback to throw to him but here's a look at his motivations and tags if you want to see that all right, just for y'all draft nerds like me that want to see where everybody else went, I'm going to show you the first two rounds. I'm not going to commentate over it. If you want to skip, either I put the timestamp right here or you can just use the chapters. Um, I usually have those in every video. So I'm going to just show you all the top two rounds and we'll go from there. Raiders beginning of season one we have a New England Patriot we have a Las Vegas Raider let's get to the end and let's see how their rookie season turns out all right to end the season one let's see how the standings turn out let me know if y'all team Randy or team Rice in the comment section man let's see we got we got Randy Moss in the playoff at 11 and 6 um and they're looking for his quarterback he's working with Gardner Minshew uh Hopefully he was able to do well. I mean, they made the playoffs. I mean, you can't complain about that. And the Patriots, they went 7-10. I mean, you got a rookie quarterback. You got a rookie receiver. I mean, I guess. So we'll go look at their stats real quick. Randy Moss coming in with 65 receptions, uh, 881 yards, 13.6 every reception, and three touchdowns. Not too bad. Not the greatest, but not too bad for a rookie year. Jerry coming in with 72 receptions, 963 yards, 13.4 per reception, and 7 touchdowns. So he by far had the better season. We're going to look and see if either one of them won an award. When it comes to offensive rookie of the year, Jerry Rice is going to finish two to Shadur Sanders, who's on the Jets. And then Randy is going to finish at number four on this list. As you can see, I have switched teams over to the Raiders. This is a playoff game where only one of them are in the playoffs so I'm going I will switch and jump in for the potential of some gameplay in that kind of situation when both are there it's gonna be kind of hard because I got to go back and forth this is an online franchise I can't control multiple teams and just switch you know because online simulates faster and this is gonna be a longer sim so I, I gotta say I gotta value my time and I gotta value my time so we got the Raiders taking on my Baltimore Ravens let's see if Randy can make an impact in this game 
All right, I saved you a little bit of time. We are here in the fourth quarter where it's 13 to six. Baltimore has the ball there driving. We're gonna see if there's a potential chance to jump in here. And Baltimore is gonna get another field goal. And you know, they're kind of stalling out. Both, both going back and forth. The touchdown right here will really help Baltimore's case. And they're gonna get one more field goal. So the Raiders have a chance to end this off and they're not. So Baltimore can get in right here and they don't they don't it looks like baltimore just could not get one more field goal and the raiders take it 13 to 12. randy had three for 63 no touchdown but good solid performance with the catches that he was able to get in a divisional round against the buffalo bills it is 14 14 at the start of the fourth and we got another tight win here as buffalo is going to get the touchdown can the Raiders get down the field? They don't. They're going to punt it. Defense, we need you to step up here. And they look like they do. So, Las Vegas, you got a chance. Can you get down there? And we're going we to jump in right here to see if Randy can make a play. Third and seven. A little like they're in high formation. But they look like they're going to need to throw. You got, And you're going to run it? Oh, my goodness. What is wrong with y'all? They ran it on third down because they was going to go for it on fourth down. Let's see what they got. That looks like Randy in motion. Randy, motion. Minshew looking. He's going to throw it to Randy. He caught it. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, Randy. Third and goal from the six. Randy Moss lined up outside. I forgot this team also has Devontae Adams and Brock Bowers. And he's going to throw it to Randy. He caught it. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, Randy. Clutch Gene, baby. Let's go. Let's go. All right, now we're going to get some OT right here. I have no idea what the Bills are at. Oh, they're, they're close. They're close. It looks like it's going to be a field goal. No, OT. OT. Oh, my goodness. They, how did they fumble that? Let's go. Let's see if they can mount a drive here and we can jump in again. No, they don't. They give the ball to the Bills. You can't give the Bills too many chances on 36. They're going to have to put it back to the Raiders. Can they come up clutch? This is field goal range. This is definitely should be field goal range. Right, EA? And they're going to get the job done. They're going to get the job done and they're going to move on to the conference championship. Randy Moss for 4 for 54, 13.5 per reception with the one touchdown that we saw that turned it into overtime and got them the win. Update on the conference championship. It's the fourth quarter. Miami, it's just been all Miami. It's just been all Miami at home, actually. This is the first home game they had and Miami just took complete control, 31 to 7. Let's move on to season two. Despite the loss, Randy had six for 96, 16 yards per reception. Didn't get a touchdown, but good performance nonetheless. 2024, we're going to have the Miami Dolphins winning the Super Bowl against the Minnesota Vikings 25 21, with Kendall Fuller being your Super Bowl MVP. Season two, let's see what we got. We got Texans on top, but let's see. Do we have any Raiders? Oh, we got some Raiders 11 and 6 once again. And do we have any Patriots? We're looking like a no, man. 8 and 9. Let's go look at the stats. Randy Moss with a big step up from his rookie season with 75 catches, 907 yards, 12.1 uh, per reception, 8 touchdowns. Let's go look at Jerry. Hold on, before we look at Jerry, I just want to look at um the ratings real quick he's up to an 88 overall of course he's an x factor here's a look at his uh stats right here number 28 wide receiver in the league jerry rice another step up from his rookie season 75 for 1022 13.6 per reception with eight touchdowns and let's look at his ratings as he's coming in at 89 overall x factor and here's a look at his stats number 24 ranked wide receiver in the league we got a good one in Pittsburgh. It's 24-21. Let's see if the Raiders can make a move. Pittsburgh has the ball. They just scored, so you got to make a move pretty quick, uh, Las Vegas. And y'all closing in on it. Let's see. Let's see about one more. Okay, hold on. Wait. Third and five. Four two. Y'all. All right. Let's go. Y'all get the field goal. Y'all need to score twice. Y'all need to score twice anyway. The defense need to find out how to stop them. Okay. There. There we go. Now Raiders. Y'all make a drive right here. We might can jump in right here. Come on. Give me something good. Okay, okay. Oh, well, never mind. That was a touchdown. My fault. My fault. Okay, here we go. Defense, where you at? Where you at? There you go. All right. Legacy drive on the line. Let's go. What, they got Matt Jones? All right. A minute and nine. First and ten. No timeouts. 
We got Brock Bowers, Devontae Adams, and Randy Moss. I did. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Oh my God. I tried to control it. That was so crazy. Well, there goes any possibility of the Raiders winning. Randy did have 7 for 83, 11.8 per reception, and one touchdown. And we're on to the season recap with that season three. 2025, we're going to have the Philadelphia Eagles beating the Kansas City Chiefs 23-21 with Jalen Hurts being your Super Bowl MVP. All right, it is season three, season three, season four, season, yeah, it's season three, it's season three. And let's see if anybody made the playoffs. Can the Patriots finally make the playoffs? Or can the Raiders return? The Patriots are not here. The Raiders are not here. The Patriots 5 and 12. What is going on in New England? The rate 4 and 13. What happened, dog? Randy Moss with 74, 958, 12.9 and 7 touchdowns. He is up to a 89, well, 90 overall. He has minus one morale. Still an X Factor. 21 ranked wide receiver in the league. Here's his ratings. Jerry Rice 63 for 9, 59, 15.2 and 3 touchdowns. Let's see what his rating is looking like. He is going to be probably a 90 as well. Yeah, he's also a 90 overall. Still X Factor. And he's the number 23 ranked wide receiver in the league. Here's a look at his ratings. 2026 sees the Dallas Cowboys absolutely destroy my Baltimore Ravens. Unfortunately, as the Dallas Cowboys Whoa, the Dallas Cowboys win the Super Bowl with Dak winning the Super Bowl MVP. All right, it's season four. Let's see what it entails. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Any Patriots or Raiders? Patriots or Raiders? Patriots or Raiders? Pa oh, there we go. We got some Raiders. We got some Raiders. So we don't have any Patriots. What is going on, Jerry? What? But come on, y'all getting worse and worse every season. And God dang it, New Orleans, y'all y'all just can't. It's not about the Saints. It's about Jerry Rice and Randy Moss. And my goodness, goodness, Jerry, come on. Randy with a great season, 91 for 11, 12, 12.2 average with six touchdowns. Let's see what he's up to now in terms of ratings. Should be pretty high. Yeah, he's up to a 94 overall. Take a look at his ratings. Number 12 wide receiver in the league. Should be cracking the top 10 next season. Jerry also had a really good season, 99 for 12, 50, 12.6 on the average with six touchdowns. He might have been able to keep up with him in rating. You see, he's a 92. Randy Moss has officially passed him, but he is a 92 overall. He's 26, so he got a couple more years before he may start regressing, though. Here's a look at his rate. It's my fault, my fault. I was not paying attention. And he's number 15th ranked wide receiver in the league. Wait, did Randy, did Randy Moss have him around? I didn't look. In, anyway, it doesn't matter. He's number 15 ranked wide receiver in the league, Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice finishes at number 10 in the best wide receiver running. That's the best anybody has done for any award. They haven't been up for any award outside of Rookie of the Year. Um, hopefully, we get somebody to win one. All right, here we are in the fourth quarter. Let's see if the Raiders can come back. And they have a chance with the Chiefs being up 21-17. And we're closing in on, on the goal line, man. Let's take a look in there and see what we can do. All right, third and goal from the one-yard line. I'm assuming this is one more run. I'm assuming. And it is, and he does get in there. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Let's see what we can do on defense. All right, can't sit it with the ball. Defense is on you. It's on you, and you look like you Okay, it's fourth. Oh, they tied it up. They tied it up. Okay, okay. Las Vegas, I almost called y'all Oakland for a minute. Here we go. 36, let's go in right here. Let's jump in right here. Oh, Mac Jones in the shotgun. You got Devontae. You got Randy. Who are you going to go to? You got plenty of options. Hey, you going to throw it away? You better be in field goal range. OT it is. Oakland getting the... Not Oakland. See, that's what I get. Las Vegas getting the ball first. And they're driving. Randy Moss with a huge catch. Just not the long go. Let's jump in right here from the 25-yard line. Let's see if they can punch it in and end the game. All right, they just ran the ball, so I spared y'all the time. So let's see if they're going to get the field goal right here. Oh, no, they're going to go for it. They're going to go for it. Okay. I wasn't expecting to actually watch this, but I guess we'll watch it. It's play action. And, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. See? See? That's why you don't play with the Chiefs. Now they're going to score. Now they're going to score. Patrick Mahomes can't get. He can't, you can't give him too many chances. You can't give him too many chances. It's fourth and inches, and the penalty against the defense. So, Kansas City still has to. Oh, yep, that's it. That's it. Yep, there we go. 
there we go you can't play around with the chiefs randy did not do too well today 247 23 and a half average no touchdowns his long was 27 so that kind of inflated the numbers but yeah moving on 2027 sees the dallas cowboys win another super bowl with dak winning mvp as they beat the kansas city chiefs 31 to 24. all right it's time for season four let's see what we got in store i did not mean to rhyme i did not prepare that <laughs> let's see do we have any patriots do we have any raiders and we don't have anything what is going on randy moss with good yardage but not really productive in the end zone 69 for 991 14.4 average with only two touchdowns let's see what um his ratings are looking like his ratings will be he'll be a 95 overall still an expert at 25 years old here's a take a look at his ratings he's now a top 10 wide receiver in the league taking a look at jerry rice he has 86 receptions 978 yards 11.4 average and five touchdowns wait is this season five can i not count let me see yeah this is season five i'm so did i say season five i don't even know anymore i don't even know let's take a look at his ratings he's a 92 or 94 with the morale he's a 92 he's 27 at this point he's the number 12 ranked wide receiver in the league here's a look at his ratings 2028 you got the buffalo bills with josh allen winning super bowl mvp as they won over the seahawks 41 to 35. all right starting season six randy moss 86 catches 1106 yards 12.9 average with 10 touchdowns the raiders are the one c they went 13 and 4 so let's take a look at Randy ratings. I'm gonna speed this process up a little bit so I won't be showing the stat not the stats, the standings. I won't be showing the standings, but I'm gonna just tell y'all when I look at the stats. And Randy is the number eight wide receiver in the league. Now at a 97 overall, 99 with the morale. Here's a look at his ratings. Jerry Rice just can't seem to get it done. He's got 65 for 763, 11.7 .7 average and six touchdowns. Let's see what he's at. I don't remember what their record was, but I just know they're not in the playoffs. It don't, it don't really matter. They're not in the playoffs, man. He's 28 years old, so he, he's getting there. He's 95 overall still, 11 point wide receiver in the league. Here's a look at his ratings. The Raiders are looking good. It's a close one, but they are looking good. They have the ball. Let's see if they can make a run for it here. And they're closing on the red zone. They get in the red zone. We'll hop in. And it looks like they're going to take the field goal. Okay, so let's see if the Broncos can do anything. Defense did not really hold it strong, but they held strong just in time. Caleb Wills on the Broncos. Okay, they got a field goal out of it. Now let's see if the Raiders can get back to the red zone so we can get some gameplay. And it doesn't look like it. So, and it's look, we got a punt off. And the Raiders will win if we got a punt off going. And it looks like they're just going to run out the clock. And that's going to be it. The Raiders move on to the conference championship once again. Randy had a nice day. 7 for 91. 13 yards on the average. No touchdown. But nice day. All right. If you like defense, you're going to like this one. Because it's a 9-7 to seven game here in the beginning of the fourth quarter. Let's see if the Raiders can close this out. And they have the ball now. Let's see. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. I see you. I see you. All right, they getting a touchdown. That might be it. They got the ball. Let's see if they can do it. Let's see if they can do it. They're just running. They just run. They punted it off. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Tennessee still has a chance. You know it's not over yet. They do get the touchdown. The Raiders are going to get the ball, and if they stall out here, Tennessee's going to have a shot. And they they're starting to kneel. That's it. Randy Moss is going to make it to the Super Bowl. Let's see who he has to play. We got to look at his stats for this game real quick. Then we'll see who has to play. And we're going to super sim the whole game for this one, man. Randy was 6 for 62. 10.3 average. No touchdowns. But he had a longer 15. It's going to be the Seattle Seahawks and the Las Vegas Raiders in the Super Bowl. Randy, can you get it done? Super Bowl time. Super Bowl time. Let's see. If the boys can get it done, we're gonna go quarter by quarter right here. The Seahawks strike first, and then the Raiders they get a field goal. The Seahawks strike very quick again. Y'all, this might be some trouble. Them, them boys look like they're playing their heart out. Y'all better score. There you go. That's how you do it. And they got the other touchdowns. Either the defense sucks 
or the Seahawks are just like that, and they look like they're they're just like that to be honest with you. But the Raiders do get a score, and they they got a much need to stop, but they stalled out, and here we go, here we go. Let's see, can they make a miraculous comeback? Y'all got time, y'all got the weapons to do it. Can you get it done? It's third and eighteen. Oh no, no, this this is gonna be it. You're gonna you're gonna fall. Y'all gonna fall to the Seahawks. This is this is not good. Yep. Yep, that's it. 35-17. The Seahawks are gonna take the championship away from Randy Moss and the Raiders. It's time to move on to next season. Randy did have a great day in the Super Bowl. 7 for 96, 13.7 average, and two touchdowns. Season 7, the Raiders are back in the playoffs with 6 to 7. No, not 6 to 7 wins. 10 to 11 wins 10 to 11 wins i can't remember which one it was exactly but 73 113 15.2 average for randy moss with another 10 touchdowns let's see what we got in terms of his ratings he should be a 99 yeah he's a 99 at this point 27 years old number one wide receiver in the league Jerry Rice, on the other hand, they won three games. I, I don't know. Jerry, you got to leave, bro. You got to leave 77 for 10, 17, 13.2 average and nine touchdowns. He had a pretty good year, but 3 and 14 ain't going to cut it at all. He's regressed down to a superstar development. He's a 94 overall. Uh, the morale minus two. He's, the, he's still top 10 in his look at his ratings. Randy Moss did finish 6th in best wide receiver his first time appearing on any award list outside of rookie of the year. Alright, y'all knew we was playing the Chiefs, man. Come on. Who, what, what other team will we play in 2024 on Madden? Like, it's got to be the Chiefs. Come on, man. It's, it's looking good out here. We're looking pretty good, pretty dominant. And it looks like we're going to head and take this out with a 31-14 victory over the Kansas City Chiefs. Let's move on to the conference championship. I said conference championship, I meant division around my fault. Uh, Randy Moss with 3 for 30, but it looks like his teammates picked up the slack. Alright, the division around is not going too good. My Baltimore Ravens are up 21 to 7 on the Raiders. They still got time to come back. It's not out of it yet. And can they get a score right here? They're on the 7 yard line, so they have a shot. It's 3 4. They just sacked them, so they're probably going to pass it. Let me jump in right here. Wait, 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 never mind. That was third and seven. This is fourth and ten, so they're probably just going to take the field goal. Yeah, so here we go. And then, oh my goodness, if Baltimore scores right, yeah, that's it. They did make a valiant effort, but it's going to be a 28-25 win for the Ravens in the end. Let's go to his stats. Randy had six for 105, really good day, 17 and a half for the average, but no touchdowns, no luck on the win. Moving on to next season. 2030 is going to see my Baltimore Ravens win 17 to 14 over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with Lamar Jackson being the Super Bowl MVP. No playoffs for the Raiders this year in season eight, but Randy did have 93 for 12, 26, 13.2 average per reception and six touchdowns. And let's see if he's still a 99. And yes, he is. He's 28 years old, so should be starting to regress soon. He's still an X Factor. He's look at his ratings. He's still the number four wide receiver in the league. Jerry Rice also didn't make the playoffs. He hasn't made the playoffs all video, man. He need to get out of there, to be honest with you. But I ain't got no control over that. He has 76 catches, 1,055 yards, 13.9 average, and only four touchdowns. Jerry, I'm sorry, man. He, he's down to a superstar still. Um, 30 years old, 93 overall, which is still really good. Number 10 wide receiver, still top 10. And take a look at his ratings right here. Randy Moss did finish number 8 in the best wide receiver award this year. 2031, we got the Tennessee Titans beating the Arizona Cardinals 31 to 28 to get their first Super Bowl with Marquise Bell being the Super Bowl MVP. Year 9, we got some more Raiders playoff football with Randy Moss getting 83 catches, 1100 yards, 13.3 per reception, and 11 touchdowns. And I'm guessing he's still a 99. Of course he is, still an X Factor. He's 29 years old, number 3 wide receiver in the league, and here's a look at his ratings. At 29 years old, 98 speed at 29 years old is absolutely insane. Poor Jerry, he, he just, I don't know. I don't know, do they even still have Drake May at this point? They don't. I, I don't know what happened. I, I thought Drake May, Jerry Rice connection was about to be 
you know, generational. But 63 catches, 805, 12.8 average, only two touchdowns. Jerry, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Uh, 92 overall, 31 years old, top 10 still. Um, yeah, he. I don't know. I don't know why he didn't leave, man. What, what's his tags? Would he just like to stay? Uh, he he valued championships in the big market, but all right, I guess Jerry. Randy Moss late in his career coming in number two in the best wide receiver so he may be able to win one before it's all said and done and it just dawned on me that maybe Jerry Rice's receiver archetype isn't suited for this NFL you know maybe Randy Moss is doing better because his skill set is more for this generation but anyway let's go to some playoff football all right, we are here in the fourth quarter where the Raiders are on top. It doesn't look like they're going to be slowing down. It doesn't look like they're going to be stopping. It looks like they're going to get this job done here in the playoffs. And let's see. Can we get a... Oh, okay. Okay, Denver, let's see what you got then. Let's see what you got. Okay, they, they couldn't handle it. They couldn't handle it. Yeah, it's too late. It's too late. We're going to another round in the playoffs with the Raiders this season. Let's go, man. Let's look at Randy's stats, and we'll get to our next opponent. Randy had four receptions for 57 yards, a 14.2 average with a longer 23. No touchdowns on the day, but you got the W, man. Uh, the playoff journey is going to end here. Uh, it's 27-6. The Titans are just putting in work. Um, it's a little too late for a comeback. They just scored again, and it's going to be 30-20. It's going to look better than what it was. The Titans take down the Raiders. And we're moving on to season number 10. Randy didn't disappoint today. He had 8 for 90, 11.2 average with two touchdowns on the day. Did the Titans just go back to back? Winning 24 22 over the Cardinals? They win their second Super Bowl with another middle linebacker, and this time Fred Warner winning Super Bowl MVP? Okay, Tennessee. I see you. I see you, Tennessee. Year 10. No playoffs for the Raiders this time. Randy Moss still had a good season, 73 for 1,013, 13.9 average, and 7 touchdowns. Let's see if he's still a 99, let's see if he's regressing yet, and he is still a 99, still an expert at 30 years old, the number one wide receiver in the league. He says that still standing tall at 30 years old. And guess what? And guess what? The Patriots did not make the playoffs as you probably expected. Jared Rice, 73 catches, 930 yards, 12.7 average with 9 touchdowns though. He was productive in the end zone. This is his year 10 and he has dropped all the way to star development. 87 overall, that hurts to see. That really hurts to see. He's down to number 16 ranked wide receiver. Yeah, yeah, the team ain't help him. You know what I'm saying? He's been making the playoffs, getting those extra skill points. He's just dropping. He's 32 years old. I, he maybe has like maybe three to four seasons left before he's done. Since it is year 10, just want to show you the career stats because these guys are going to be retiring soon, especially Jerry Rice. It's going to be 782 catches, 10,407 yards, 13.3 average with 70 touchdowns so far in his career for Randy Moss. Even though he is yet to make the playoffs in his 10 year career, Jerry Rice still has got 749 catches, 9,742 receiving yards, 13.0 average with 59 touchdowns. It's, it's not looking too good for him in terms of, you know, his career, but hey, it's better than somebody's. It's better than somebody's career. 2033, we got the Minnesota Vikings getting their first Super Bowl. As they beat the Baltimore Ravens 30 to 28, with JJ McCarthy being your Super Bowl MVP. Year number 11, Randy Moss still doing big things. 75 yards, my bad, 75 catches, 957 yards, 12.8 average, and nine touchdowns. They did make the playoffs, so you know we got some playoff football to look at. And he is still a 99 overall at 31 years old, number one wide receiver in the league. And here's a look at his ratings. Jerry Rice somehow still loyal to the Patriots after they still I think I hit him my bad and hopefully that wasn't too loud for y'all they still did not make the playoffs 55 catches 837 15.2 with nine touchdowns he's probably down to like an 80 maybe even the 70s at this point yeah he's down to an 83 star development at 33 years old it's, it's sad that he he's almost done man Number 35 ranked wide receiver in the league. He's not even a number one wide receiver anymore, guys. 
Here's a look at his ratings. It wouldn't be playoff one, but if he didn't have to deal with the Kansas City Chiefs, man. And the Raiders do score. They do get the lead. Let's see if the Chiefs can respond. Or will the Raiders take it? And the Chiefs have responded. Let's see if we can get some action here. If they close in, the Raiders not looking too good on that drive. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Because I want to keep it close. Because I want to jump in. I want some gameplay here. Let's see. Okay. 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 We'll, we'll jump in right here. They're coming out five wide. Randy Moss at the top of your screen right here is second and one from the nine yard line. He's gonna throw. He's got his man touchdown. Las Vegas Raiders. It wasn't Randy, but it's his team, and we need him to win. Ratliff with the touchdown. Okay, the extra point is good. Let's see if Kansas City can capitalize. The time is running out, and it's too late. They're kneeling the ball out, and the game is over. The Raiders have beat the Chiefs and are moving on to the next round. Randy had four for 73, 18.2, no touchdowns with a long of 28. This is basically a Randy most career sim at this point because Jerry's nowhere to be found. Another year, and it looks like another second round exit as the Bills are 21 0. And oh, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, they scored again. That they, it, they almost they almost just shut me up immediately after starting to commentate again like what but yeah it's gonna be another second round exit as we lose to the bills 28 14. this game was not on randy as he caught seven catches for 111 yards 15.8 average and one touchdown 2034 we got the atlanta falcons beating the indianapolis Colts 42 to 20 with jordan love being your super bowl mvp Season 12 and Randy Moss is back in the playoffs. 78 catches, 1,034 yards, 13.3 average with 12 touchdowns, man. Just as productive as ever. He's a 94 overall. He's starting to regress. He's starting to regress, but he didn't regress his abilities. He's still an X factor. He's still the number one by receiving the league. Here's a look at his ratings for you. Poor Jerry Rice, man. He has he yet to make the playoffs. This whole video, this video, I don't even know how long this video, these videos tend to be long. This is probably like 50 minutes long. He, he did not make the playoffs. He's getting 39 catches, 500 yards, 12.9 average, and two touchdowns. I mean, he's probably only, like, he's probably in the 70s now. Oh, man, this, this just this sucks to see. He's an 80 overall. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Normal development, 49 wide receiver. He's still technically a number two. But he's now towards the, the bottom half of that list. And here's his rating. Still pretty good if he was like a rookie. But not for being 34 years old. Randy Moss did finish number 6 in the best wide receiver conversation this year. The Raiders are taking care of business as they're up 19-11. But the Broncos are coming back. Hold on. Let's see. Let's, let's, let's see what's going on here. Okay, they're gonna drive a little bit and they're gonna end the game. Okay, I got a little scared, but they took care of what they need to take care of. We're going on to the next round. Randy Moss, not the greatest days. Three for 41, 13.6 average, no touchdowns, but a long of 19. Close one here in Pittsburgh as the Steelers do have the ball and it looks like they're gonna start out with Patrick Mahomes. Okay, that, that caught me by surprise. Can the Raiders come down here and score? Randy Moss for 22. And they go, I'm thinking they're probably just going to run it in here. And they're going to take that field goal? They do take the field goal. They missed it? They Did they miss it? What? All right. All right. Come on. Y'all get past midfield so I can uh, jump in here. All right. Second, third, and five. We got to come in right here. All right, Vegas. Go to Randy right here. This is, this is the guy. This is your time to go to Randy. They're going to come across the middle. What? what? Alright. Oh, they're going to go for it. I like it. I like it. I like the confidence. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Randy Moss in motion. You got to be getting the ball to him, right? Randy Moss across the middle. He's got him. He caught it. Let's go. First down, Raiders. Second and three. Second and three. Let's see what they're going to do. Is he going to get sacked? He fumbled it. No. Oh, my goodness. We can't have nothing nice, man. Oh, man. And that's the game, 17-14. That's how Randy and the Raiders are going to go out this season. 5 for 54, 10.8 per reception. No touchdowns on the day. And another L. I'm sorry, Randy. 2035 sees 
Patrick Mahomes won Super Bowl MVP on the Pittsburgh Steelers as they win 38-27 over the Minnesota Vikings. Year number 13, Randy Moss still eating 69 for 952 and uh, touchdowns with a 13.8 average. He's probably still in that 90 to 95 range, maybe down to a superstar. He's a 90 overall on the dot with still X Factor. Let's take a look at his ratings. He's dropped down to number seven in the league. He should probably be around for at least like four or five more seasons, probably. Um, yeah, he, he's looking still. He's still looking good. They did not make the playoffs though, so we'll be moving on to next season. Jerry Rice is now a free agent in year number fourteen. Um, did not expect this. I was looking for him. I thought he just disappeared out of thin air because he didn't retire. Well, I guess it's time for us to look at his career stats. Um, yeah, let's, let's take a look at him real quick. Here's his ratings to end it off. And he has officially lost the career versus as, I mean, I don't think he really had a chance at throw ball anyway. But yeah, Jerry Rice has retired, man. I thought he would do better. I thought he would do better. Um... I'm going to find a way to look at his stats. Give me a second. Jerry Rice stayed pat with the New England Patriots. For some reason, I have no idea. I um, had to do a little bit of math. But he got 843 receptions, 1,084 yards with a 13.15 average and 70 touchdowns, man. Um, it sucks, man. I thought he would have been a lot better. I thought it was going to be way more competitive than I thought. Um... We can go look at his uh, awards. He, he was a one-time Pro Bowler. That's it? Really? Really? Only one-time Pro Bowler? Wow. I was expecting more on that list. Um, I, that caught me off guard. Well, there's Jared Rice. I'll see you when he officially retires. The Indianapolis Colts win 28-14 over the Minnesota Vikings, winning a championship with Travis Hunter winning Super Bowl MVP. After 13 years, Jerry Rice will officially retire from the NFL, losing the career versus against Randy Moss. And now it's just all on Randy Moss to see where he ends up and see where he stacks up when it's all said and done. We're back with Randy Moss, where he got 75 catches, 1,068 yards, a 14.2 average, and 6 touchdowns in year 14, man. Still doing his thing. He has officially won a career versus. He's at an 87 overall, still an X-Factor. And he's the number 11 ranked wide receiver in the league, and they did make the playoffs. So we will be jumping in there. And so, Randy Moss, let's go get it, man. It looks like the Raiders are going to get it done against the Kansas City Chiefs as they're still scoring, holding down business with a 40 piece on them Chiefs. 40 to 10. We're moving on. Randy with 8 for 95, 11.8 average, and he did get a touchdown this game. And we're going on to round two. We got another close one here against the New York Jets, a team we haven't seen much as they do get a field goal. And we're looking like we're probably going to score here. And the Raiders do get the touchdown and the Jets cannot respond let's see if we can close this out and no oh, defense it's on you it's on you defense all right we're gonna jump in right here and see if we can make some magic all right let's see what happens in OT let's see if the Raiders can get down there and what happened oh, oh did the Jets have the ball I don't even remember it it doesn't matter the Raiders have the ball now and we're driving we're driving we're driving we're still driving just get in there bro they got in there let's go Raiders going to the conference championship Randy went 5 for 45 with a 9 yard average no touchdown he did have a drop longer 14 let's go to the conference championship we're in a close one with the Los Angeles Chargers let's see what they got going on and the Chargers have the ball they're driving they got down there kind of quick and they stalled out, so it was still 10-10. Raiders, y'all have the ball. What y'all gonna do with it? Absolutely nothing. All right. Chargers, y'all got the ball. Y'all moving. It look like y'all in field goal range. Can y'all get the touchdown out of it? And they're gonna get the field goal. So Raiders, we still got a chance. All right. 43 seconds left. We gotta at least get a field goal here. I'm coming in right here. 36, we gonna need this. 
We gonna need this. We're looking and throwing it towards Randy Moss. He caught it. He dropped it. No. Randy, you gotta be clutch. Gonna have to take the field goal here and trust your defense. The field goal is up and it is no good. No good. No. No. Wow. That drop is probably going to cost the Raiders the game as the Chargers are just going to run it out. But they do get the ball back. 14 seconds left. Can a miracle happen? Why is he running the ball? And that's going to be it, man. The Chargers take us down in the conference championship. So no ring for Randy, man. Randy only had one catch for four yards. Obviously a four average. No touchdown. And he had that one very crucial drop. What? That's just all right. Okay. We are back in business after EA crashed the service on. It's a new day. It's a new day. But you know we can't we can't help it. So since we already had lost the game when the game crashed, I'm gonna go ahead and force losers this game. We're gonna move on to next season. If it were to crash mid game, I will redo the game. But since we had already lost, we're gonna force lose us and we'll see you in next season. 2037 sees the Dallas Cowboys win 29-21 over the Los Angeles Chargers with Kendrick Reese, the running back of the Cowboys, being your Super Bowl MVP. In a shocking event, Randy Moss has just retired after 14 years. I honestly thought he had like two or three more years in the tank, but he said no. So we're gonna go check out his stats and see what he ended up with, man. Randy Moss at an 85 overall start development, 35 years old, decides to hang it up. Here's his final rating check right here. And I'm gonna have to do some math. So let me go ahead and tell you his stats and we're gonna look at them real quick. All right, Randy Moss final total is gonna be 1,106 receptions for 14,418 yards, an average of 13.03 per reception and 106 total touchdowns. And yeah, man, Randy Moss, the clear winner of today's career versus man. Let's take a look at his awards. He finished with three Pro Bowls. So between him and Jerry Rice, only four total Pro Bowls. They both was the number one receiver at some point in time. I, I just don't get it. I don't get it, but hey, it is what it is. That is the career of Randy Moss, the winner of today's career versus. Let's check out the legacy board real quick. Randy Moss finishes at number 11 on the list. No Super Bowls, one conference championship, three yearly awards, which I have no idea where they came from because I checked every year. But three yearly awards, uh, maybe maybe those are his Pro Bowls. But yeah, I try to look for Jerry Rice. He's no longer on the list. He was on the list when he retired. He was somewhere around in the 20s possibly. But he's no longer on this list as I'm looking right now. And I checked as much as I could. Um, but yeah, 10,913 Lexi for Randy Moss. That's going to do it for this career versus. Let me know who you want to see next because I'm ready to bring more, man. But until the next career versus, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. And that's as a, AKA the career maestro, man. And I'm going to see you in the next one.